does it happen? How does it happen that when the CEOs and big time executives on Wall Street destroy the economy, resulting in millions of Americans losing their jobs, their homes, their life savings, nothing happens to them except they end up making more money now than they did before. That is going to change. The truth is today that most of the major financial institutions are bigger now than they were when we bailed them out because they were too big to fail. In my view, number one, we have got to reestablish Glass-Steagall. But most importantly, we have got to break these financial institutions up. If a bank is too big to fail, that bank is too big to exist. Break them up. We need a financial system in which banks invest in small and medium-sized businesses, helping people buy their homes, not an island unto themselves. My friends, let me be as blunt as I can and tell you something that I think most of you already know. And that is, as a result of the disastrous Supreme Court decision on Citizens United, as a result of that decision, the American political system has been totally corrupted, and the foundations of American democracy are being undermined. What the Supreme Court said to the wealthiest people in America, they said, guys, you already own much of the economy, you're already fantastically wealthy, but now we're going to give you the opportunity to buy the United States government. And that is exactly what they are about to do if we do not stop them. If you can believe it, one family the Koch brothers, an extreme right-wing family. This is a family, the second wealthiest in America, that wants to end, wipe out Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, the EPA, the postal system. They think a 725 minimum wage is too high. They want to abolish the concept of the minimum wage. This one family in this election cycle is spending more money than either the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. When you have, when you have a multi-billionaire family spending more money than either of the two major political parties. That is not democracy, that is oligarchy, and that has got to end. 